Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a behind the scenes look at my filming area. So I promised you guys this, I asked you on Twitter if you'd like to see kind of a behind the scenes, kind of the area that I set up for filming, and overwhelmingly you all said that you wanted to see this. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Subscribe to me for a while, you, or if you follow me on Twitter I should say, then you know that I moved recently. So this apartment that I'm in now um, didn't have much room in my bedroom to film at all. So ideally I would like to be in my bedroom filming. But right here, this chest is where I keep all of my makeup, and this actually could not fit into my bedroom. And the reason it doesn't fit into the bedroom is because I have so much other furniture, and I have a king-size bed. So if you're ever, like, moving out into an apartment, do not get a king-size bed. It just takes up the whole entire room, unless you find, like, an apartment with a massive bedroom or something. But, um, yeah, so I have a king-size bed, a dresser, a nightstand, an actual vanity, and a jewelry, like, armoire, or however you pronounce that. Um, so that takes up the whole entire room, and there was no room for makeup storage, so I decided to come up with a makeshift little filming area for you guys in my new apartment, which is against a wall, which I don't like filming against, so it's kind of convenient to have everything right here, even though it's not in my bedroom. So I'm just going to show you everything how I have it set up. I kind of just took furniture that I had to create this area. Ideally, I don't want to be against a wall, so I'm going to try and change that as soon as I can. I just have really no other option right now. Um... But let me know, like, I put a photo, or a, I put a painting up back here, but you can't really see it in the videos. And I was thinking of putting, like, shelves and maybe putting, like, products on the shelves, like perfume or nail polish or I don't know what, just to make it more interesting because I'm against a wall. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I can tell you where everything is from and show you kind of how I store my makeup. Um, but an official, like, makeup collection video will be soon. And then if you want a room tour, I don't know, my room is just not ready. And plus I'm in an apartment, so I don't feel like it's personal enough, like like my bedroom was at my parents' house. So I don't know, but let me know if you want those in the comments below. But yeah, so let's get on to the filming setup area slash makeup storage. Okay, so here is my little area. It's actually a computer desk, and this is from... Target. So it doesn't match this at all, but I mean, I just kind of threw pieces of furniture together that I had. Um, my chair is from Target, the pillows from Pier 1. Um, that is a Parker painting. I love it. She's my favorite artist. Um, Pier 1, the armoire, it's called a lingerie chest. Just have some perfume and stuff up there. Here is my little filming station. So here's my tripod where my camera goes. My lamp is from Pier 1. Um, my little organizer, I have some palettes in here. That organizer and my um, pen organizer right here are both from Target. Um, yeah, so you can tell my favorite stores. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much my little setup area. I have my flat iron and my hairbrush and everything down here in like a little basket. And my trash can, which is completely full of tissues. Here is where I keep all of my makeup. I sit here. Um, so in my actual drawer right now, in where a keyboard would normally go, I just have um, all my hair extensions. extensions, hair extension brush, guide, box, so it's just pretty much all hair extensions. Um, on my desk, I always have a candle lit right now. Homemade cookies is kind of, I'm trying to get through that one, but this one I actually got in my stocking for Christmas. It's like halfway gone, but pineapple mango, it is so good. Um, yes, yeah, so I keep pens here. This is really nice. If you're doing a setup, um, I would definitely suggest having like loose leaf paper because I'm always writing down like ideas for videos, um, stuff like that. So this is old. Urban Decay, I already did that one. January Favorites, Head Candy, Sephora. Yeah, so this is like really old. I should throw that out, but this is just something cute to have. Um, I don't know where this is from. Here are some of my brushes. Now I have two more just like this, but one is filled with um, Smashbox brushes and one is filled with uh, MAC brushes. But those ones are both being washed right now, so I keep all of my pink Sigma brushes in here, and I put like really cute like rhinestones kind of just scattered on the top. I think it just makes it a little bit more girly and cute. The rhinestones are um, from Pier 1. Then over here I have pictures of my boyfriend, which you'll meet him soon. Just like a sticky notes, um, more sticky notes, but these are heart ones. And some MAC palettes, and then over here are like, you know, stuff for Bill. So I'm just really, really organized. In this drawer I have just random stuff. Coasters with J's on them. Um, Edward and Jacob. Who doesn't have Edward and Jacob? Um, just random old Mac brushes I don't use anymore. Solar oil. These are the little things that are in my brush holder. They're like table confetti. I got them from Pier One, but I just scatter them on top of my brush holders, and I think it just makes it look extra cute. Kind of a junk drawer. Um, as far as makeup storage goes, I definitely keep like my most 
used items and stuff down here because I'm sitting on the chair. I want to have like everything more accessible. They're like, I have a lot, a lot of, these are like all lip glosses down here. So pretty much I store, I make little compartments within the compartments, within the drawers I should say. So these little white guys are from, uh, um, what's it called? Walmart, and they're like three for a dollar, so they're really, really cheap, and like I said, these are all lip glosses. I don't want to do show you too much because I'm going to have a full um, makeup collection video, but yeah, I have a lot of Stila, a lot of MAC, and other stuff. So here's like lip glosses, then I get the smaller containers for like um, powders and like MSI and like some blushes here, but they also come up, so I have just random guests. So I have a lot of, you know, storage ideas, so I just want to stay organized, like these are all lipstick products, eye products, like eyeliners, and both of these are eye products. Um, and then they lift up. I don't think I have anything under these ones. No, I don't. But I could potentially put stuff down there because there's a space. Um, so just trying to stay organized as much as possible. And having all of my makeup in one piece of furniture like this, that just makes it so convenient. This is kind of like my little setup. Um, it's just really, really convenient having every single thing that I need in one spot. So I can just sit down, start filming, talk about whatever. Um, it's just really convenient. So I told you guys I would show you my little setup. And yeah, there's a big window here. So um, it kind of gives me natural light to film in, which has been helping a lot. So I know the furniture doesn't match that well, but I kind of just took what I had. I am using a new um, computer desk now, so that's why I had that computer desk free. So, yeah, that's my little area. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you maybe some inspiration to um, create a little filming station like that as well. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and you got some tips on um, maybe your own filming station or if you don't make videos, maybe that inspired you to create a little place to film videos and get started here on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions or if you saw anything that I didn't say where it was from, then just put them in the comments below. But let me know if you like this video. And um, I'm going to be having a contest coming up soon, a giveaway. I'm so excited because I reached 10,000 subscribers, and that is just crazy talk. Like, I can't believe I reached 10,000 subscribers, you guys. So thank you so much. Um, but here is my question. I think I'm going to be having a three-part giveaway, like three separate winners. One winner will be a comment winner. One winner will be... A Twitter follower and one winner will be a Facebook like friend so I will link my Twitter and Facebook if you want to get on on like all three giveaways you have to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook but the very first giveaway which will just be a comment giveaway so if you don't want to go like subscribe or follow me on Twitter and uh, Facebook you can just stay subscribed to me on this channel but so I'm really excited okay I think I already know what I'm giving away I'm pretty sure I already know but I'm always open to suggestions. I'm going to film those videos probably tomorrow or something. I've already gotten a lot of great suggestions from you guys about items that you would like to win. But still leave me suggestions down below because I'm not 100% on what I want to give away to you guys. So yeah, I hope you like this setup and um, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and I'll talk to you soon.